Hi guys, so it's Saturday today. I've not vlogged this week because I wanted to vlog this weekend. Uh, me and Danny are off to Your Horse Live, um, which is really exciting. We go every year. We normally just go on the Sunday, but we decided this year to go all out and do the whole weekend. So we're going both days. So there's going to be loads of shopping, loads of demos, loads of horses. Can't wait. And I thought I'd bring you along with me. Hey yo, you have a vlog? Because <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what this means. <laughs> Okay, as positive as possible. Okay, it's quite an intense environment this. So this is where we're going to start. Allow him to, to make a mistake. There he goes, he's made a mistake. Okay, good, turn, there's yes. Back in the direction you were going. Good, and we want to see bend, bend and on. Focus on your job at hand, good. Who are we okay. seeing now? Ben Atkinson, my future husband. <laughs> stars of the TV screen, Peaky Blinders and Victoria. So it goes now saying that uh, Ben Atkinson and the spectacular Atkinson action horses know how to put on a show. Get ready to be amazed and dazzled with stunts, liberty, jumps and tricks. Hold on, here it goes.
Billington, um, as well as representing uh, Great Britain to Olympics. He's competed in numerous nations cats since 1976. Show jumper and producer Jay Hallam, or Tiger, as some people uh, refer to him as. Um, gents, thank you so much for joining us. Then you get to a point, some horses are really careful but finish up with not enough scope, so you jump them in a speed class. Other horses have got loads of ability, uh, a bit slow in the jump, so you point them more towards the Grand Prix classes. Years that we've found if I produce the horse that's a very nice horse but maybe not good enough or up to the standard that I need, you then, okay, right, we'll find this one a new home, and then suddenly somebody comes and tries it and then it wants to be vetted, and then the, the, you know, the insurance companies require these x rays, and then suddenly a horse with an imperfection has no value because these people are looking to do riding club dressage but want a horse with perfect x-rays. And that horse can go on and jump till it's 26 years old. Yeah, and I, I, like that side of the industry to me is just, it's it's a broken thing. Yeah, it's it's absolutely so. ridiculous. And, and when you see, you know, we... <laughs> no, no, I'm oh, sorry, about Jay, it. it's really... <laughs> no, but it's true, it's, you know, if you think I've been breeding horses for eight years now, and, when um, when it's finished. and um, if you, I, can, I can say that to breed and produce a young horse to get to four is probably at least £12,000. So then when you see on social media people advertising horses for £6,000 that have jumped around the new and been eventing for two seasons, but, you know, like, how the hell are people making money? You, no, but it's true. It, it, it is true because you see those adverts, those wanted adverts, looking for perfectly sound, must pass a five stage vacuum, must have jumped around this, must have uh, budget five grand. And you're thinking, I don't, I don't think the, the internet's made it more difficult as well. As well as, well as it helped that you can, they also, you can see the records of every horse, every round, and, and every every horse has a few bad rounds. And if you go, if you always, if I'm riding a young horse and it has a fence down, I lose the rest of the round as a, a schooling round. You know. I really think that Ginger would like a Ginger horse box. Don't you think? Oh, this is the best things ever. It's like feeding him goldfish. They've got little eyes and everything. <laughs> Any like, Look, it's like Nemo. Look, it's finding no. Nemo. <laughs> Sit. Since I found him. Oh, <laughs> give me Nemo. So it's day two. We've already done some shopping. We've done a lot of shopping. I've spent a lot of money already this year. No, it's not great. But actually, I've only bought things that are on my. Um, shopping list so that's really good. Uh, we've got a few demos that we want to see today but otherwise it's just maybe shopping. It's definitely a good idea doing two days. So yeah I'll speak to you later. Good. Okay. 
very straight, very good. Around the inside leg, this is where we get it wrong at the smallest fence. Oh God. There and straight. Inside leg around the turn. Oh, you monkey! <laughs> Daddy put a bit too much on, didn't he? <laughs> Bend him around. Oh, it's all gone off. Let's come and do that again. So, the point in this. Up, good, stay tall, give him time. Very good. Okay, so. That's a much better. <laughs> Obviously I'm back from your horse live now. We came back last night and I wanted to do like a little haul for you because I bought a lot of stuff. So I wanted to show you what I've got. So um, there is a lot. Let's start with the first bag. This bag is like full of stuff. And then there's more stuff over there too. So um, a little mini bag in here. So in here, Oh, and here I've got some of my freebies. I've got so much free stuff. Your Horse Live is one of the best places to go for like little freebies. So like I've got a little free feed scoop, which I needed a new one because um, I snapped my one. Um, that was from Top Spec. Got a free vet wrap, always comes in handy, especially with ginger. Got some free treats from Bailey's. They're the fibre nuggets. He'll be happy with those. This is gonna be so much stuff very quickly. Um, I've got a free little notepad, little notebook from Stable Mate, which is, um, that was really cool stuff. It was like this um, deodorant spray for your stable. So you spray it on your floor and stuff and it smelled so nice. It was all really natural. Um, yeah, so that was from them. And they gave us some chocolates as well, but they didn't last this long. They were gone by last night. Um, and I've got a little free gift with something that I bought. What did I buy? Ah. Yeah, something else that I bought from um, Equilibrium and because I'm a member of their email notifications and whatever um, they gave me a little free gift as well it's a really cute little present um, and in here there is a little pouch of simply irresistible little treats they're like little pellets um, with bits of apple and apples, apricots, dates, strawberries, sultanas and probiotics so hopefully he'll like them. And also in there is a five pound voucher, which will come in really handy because I need to buy some mud fever boots from them. Um, I have a bit of a situation going on with the mud fever boots that I've got, the ones I've got from Woofwear. Um, I will talk about that in another vlog, it's a bit of a long story. But anyway, I need to order some boots so that will come in handy. And also in here is a little bottle of Skin Soother, which is chamomile, aloe vera, calendula, and spearmint. It's a cooling gel to soothe itchy, flaky, sunburn, irritated skin, and it's for animal use. So, yeah, that will, I'm sure, come in handy. I'll pop that in my first aid kit. So, that is the first uh, little collection of things. And then I bought, so that was like my free stuff. And then I bought um, from a company called Amberly Aromatics um, this stuff called Muddy Horse Anti-Back Cream. And um, basically, the lady was talking to me about it, and I'm not gonna explain it all in here, but anyway, it's good for horses that obviously suffer from mud fever, which Ginger does, and it's good to put on when they have a mud fever scab, because it softens it, and then it also will kill the infection underneath, but it's all natural. Um, since he had his mud fever in April, I've been using the steroid cream that the vets prescribed me, and obviously I will continue to use that because it's on, um, a vet prescription so it's it's important that I do um, sort of take their advice but my thought is I can use this as well and aim to maybe get to where I can um, swap onto this completely because the problem is with the steroid cream is it's thinning his skin so it's making his skin even more sensitive every time I use it it's although it's solving the problem there it's then creating more problems for the future so if I can get to where I can just use this then that'd be amazing I don't know it might not work it smells amazing it's so it's like um, what is it in it that I can smell? I can definitely smell um, tea tree and lavender. Really strong. It smells lovely. It smells so nice. Um, and they had a three for two offer. So I've got another one in the hope that it works. Because if it does work, I will get through it a lot. So <laughs> it's always good. And then I got this for free, which is a little um, anti-back thing for his hooves. 
um, antibacterial and antifungal hoof preparation and it's good for uh, white line disease which he does tend to get on the changing of seasons his white line separates from the rest of his hoof because he's unshod which works really well for him most of the year but we just and the season change when the grass changes when like the wetness of the ground changes and things like that he gets white line separation which then um, creates an inf like an opening for infection so that will be really handy what you do is it's 100 mil which is like neat and you decant that into a spray bottle and fill it up with water um, so that should last quite a long time and then just spray it onto the foot so yeah so I got that free I think that was meant to be like 10 pounds but I got it for free so that's always good uh, I'm just going to pop these back in the bag because otherwise I'm just going to have stuff everywhere. Oh, I spent so much money. I went with a budget and that I blew that about halfway through the first day. Not good. Not good at all. So that's the first bag. Oh, these are more freebies. Um, if you've ever been to um, Horse of Horse... Your Horse Live or Horse of the Year show, Burley, anything like that, you probably will have seen this company. Uh, emerald green feeds they always have a stand and they always have a goodie bag to give away and it's become a bit of tradition that we have to get a goodie bag i did buy a bag of feed from them once actually they do all natural it's like all um grass pellets or alfalfa um so me and my friend usually get a bag each and then do a bit of a swap because her horse is allergic to alfalfa so i have those ones and her horse has the other ones oh, i've got more samples in here yes yeah, so that's alfalfa chop which is like a chaff uh, this is from Equiblo. I don't even remember getting this. Free sample pack. It's like a beet thing. A molasses beet plate. By the way, I've got all these like um, samples of different feeds. I'm not just going to chuck them all at Ginger. Don't panic about that. Um, but it is always good to have like an idea of what feeds are out there. Um, Ginger is a very, very fussy horse and he tends to go off of feeds quite quickly. I've always had to change his feed over like every year or so change him to a different brand or a different type of feed because he goes off it and he doesn't want to eat it anymore so it's always good to know what kind of things he likes and what would work for him so um, I won't just give him all of this don't worry because obviously that's not recommended because you can make your horse quite poorly they have very sensitive stomachs you shouldn't be changing the feeds up but they're just like little tiny little bags and what I'll probably do is split that over about three or four days and just give him a little bit um, and just so that you can just have a little taste of it I wouldn't give him that whole lot in one go um, yeah so just a little disclaimer there if you if you go out to one of these shows and you get a load of samples don't just chuck them at your horse uh, what else we got oh this is another one this is from Rowan Barbary Barbary yes yeah, Barbary feeds um, senior support um, really high fibre feed this one um, I probably wouldn't feed just because it has quite a high cereal content you can see in there and I know that cereal feeds aren't very good for ginger um, because he does have quite a sensitive stomach and also quite a sensitive head and um, cereal feeds can wind him up a little bit um, so I'm not sure about that one but again it's a freebie so obviously we uh, we take it whether I actually use that one or not I don't know but we'll see so that was from Rowan Barbary uh, what else have we got here oh these are just more free things these, these were from um, SEIB they gave me a really nice pink little pink rucksack for free which um, was really nice um, I do use SEIB South Essex insurance brokers they insure ginger and they also insure me for NL equestrian and they are fantastic they're super helpful they have an add-on for natural horsemanship they cover me for everything they're absolutely brilliant so I do highly recommend them so I've got a little notepad from them and also actually I think I've got two notepads I gave one to my mum yeah I did and two little shoe horns it's always handy I'm going to keep that at the yard uh, yeah, so that's that little bag. Let's put those away. So far, it's all like free stuff. It's good, isn't it? So the next thing that I got is these. Uh, the Equilibrium Stable Boot. Stable. Equilibrium Equichaps Stable Chaps. Don't say that too fast. Um, helps keep legs dry, clean and protected in the stable. Pro protects from scuffs and grazes. Quilted fabric for comfort helps to keep joints warm, maintain circulation, reduce filling and relieve the symptoms of arthritis. So I've got them to reduce filling and keep his joints warm in his hind legs. I just got a pair. I didn't get um, a set of four. Oh, this is an exciting one. So I went to this stand and she was selling all different herbs and things. And as you probably know already about me, if I can treat something herbally, naturally, then I will go down that route first. 
um, and obviously I'm really trying to um, crack down on ginger's mud fever this year so that we don't have a repeat of last year um, and it's really important to tackle it from the inside as well as the outside if not more important you know what's going in is really important so um, I was looking at loads of different supplements and things and then I found this lady who was on the a stand called natural equine and she had this big rack of all these different like packs of herbs like this so there's loads of different herbs like within the packs and um, I was looking at them and there was ones for digestion, there was ones for um, feet, there was ones for like feeling under the weather, ones for behavioural problems, like loads of different stuff. And then there was one for coat and skin. And I spoke to the lady, she's an actual um, herbalist, so she's really experienced in what she's doing, she knows exactly what she's doing. And she recommended this coat and skin pack. And the idea of it is it's self-selection. I'll just show you one there what's in there. I know it's probably the wrong way around, so I apologise about that. Um, but yeah, so there is marigold, cleavers, nettle, rose hips, and burdock root, all in individual little packs. And there's like a set of instructions on the back there as well to tell me what to do. Um, and basically what she said is over the course of, she said about a week-ish, um, offer him these herbs just out of my hand or in a, a little bucket or something just like individually and see which ones he goes for and she said some he won't touch some he will be um, more interested in some he will like go crazy for and then basically he is telling me what he needs um, it's basically mimicking what he would do in the wild and I'm hoping that ginger is sensible enough not to just go this tastes really good I'm just gonna eat this or nah, I don't know not not bothered about it um, but yeah, and then the idea is that after a week or so, you contact this lady and she and tell her what like your findings were. And she will then put together a mixture that you can then put into his feed. You keep a little bit back of each herb, and then when you get to the end of that mixture, you offer them again, see if it's changed, see if it changes with seasons, all that sort of thing. And yeah, I really like that idea, and it wasn't that expensive. I think this was twelve pounds, twelve or thirteen pounds, um, for yeah five different herbs, and they're decent sized packs as well. Um, and like I say, I like to keep it as natural as I can. Um, yeah, so we're going to give it a go, but there's loads of different ones. So if you want to go and, and um, see her website, it's naturalequine.co.uk. I'll link it below. Um, yeah, there was loads of different ones. She was so helpful as well. She's really knowledgeable, really lovely lady. So yeah, absolutely recommend that. Well, hopefully I recommend it. We'll see how Ginger gets on with it. Next up, oh, this is going to be... Oh my goodness, so I was carrying this round the whole of the first day and I regretted buying it so early. We we're gonna use the shop and drop, but it uh, was full. So I got a pack of five of these. These are from Equilibrium as well. They are the Vitamunch bricks. Uh, these ones are the Heavenly Hedgerow, which has got cleavers, hawthorn and rose hips. That's interesting because that's got the same, some of the same herbs as what's in his self-selection pack. How weird is that? Do you think I chose that? like subconsciously knowing that that's what he might need. So yeah, so I've got a pack of five of those, five for I think 15 pounds, and he loves these. I've got the little mini hay net for them. Um, yeah, so I'm sure he will like those. Oh, gosh, they were really heavy though. I had like an indent in my shoulder when I was carrying around the bag. Um, I think that's about it for this bag. Got a couple of bits from, I'm not gonna show you actually what they are because they're presents, but uh, Kathy's chocolates and cakes. We always go to her stand every year. She does the most beautiful Belgian chocolates um, in all different sizes and shapes and like horsey shapes and things. She does horseshoes and they're like pretty reasonably priced as well. You can get like little packs of um, little mini horse heads and um, yeah, it's really nice. But she also does um, chocolate making courses and parties. So again, I will link her website below, but she's a really lovely lady. I'm sure that she would do a really good fun party. So, okay, I think I have like three more things, three more things. Yeah, I have three more things to show you. First up, the biggest thing that I bought. I cannot go to your horse live or any horsey event without buying a rug. I'm sorry, I'm an addict, I can't help it. Although I did need this one because he ripped, or another horse ripped his um, 200 gram turnout rug last winter. So I got this one. So it's by Pessoa. He wears a six foot three, it's a combo turnout, 200 gram fill, it's spotty which I thought was cool. Um, I was going to get just a plain coloured one, but six foot three is like one of the most popular sizes for a rug and everywhere was sold out. So yeah, but this one wasn't. And it was only, I think it was 
£49, which is a really good price. It looks a really nice rug. I saw it hanging up. It looks really good quality. So I'm going to um, try that on him later. So uh, keep an eye on my social media and I will pop a photo on of him in his fancy new rug. So that's that. And then the last two things that I got. Got him a new Busy Bites refill. I've got the Busy Bites toy um, and yeah got him a new refill he's not had one yet this year and it's nice for him to have now that he's in and the last thing i bought oh, the bucket I had a bucket that came with three of these salt licks uh, the himalayan salt licks um i get one every year from your horse lives and they then last me the year until the next year horse lives it's great it's like 10 i think it's 10 pounds for and you get the bucket and then three um salt licks in there and i just hang them in a stable and they last a good few months so yeah i tend to um just buy them at your horse lab it's so much cheaper because you would pay i think you'd pay probably five pounds for just one of them so it's a really good price and obviously you get a decent bucket as well so yeah that is i think everything that i bought from your horse life um yeah it was i didn't take anything to the stables this morning because i wanted to show you everything first so i've promised ginger that i'll take him all his new treats and toys and things for this evening so um yeah i hope you enjoyed this week's vlog um i will link everything below so everything that i bought i will link all their websites below so if you like the look of something then please do um, have a look i'll also link below um, some links to um, the people whose demos I watched as well so that if you were like oh that looks really interesting then you can go and check them out as well um, yeah so I hope you enjoyed it and please give me a thumbs up please share it please subscribe on YouTube all that kind of stuff and I will see you next week